In this new tutorial, I will show you guys how to rip apart a piece of footage and let it emit in thousands of little particles. All right. Okay, it looks pretty cool, right? Okay, so to do this, create a new composition and name this one Final. And I'm going to close the other one down. And in this Final, import your video video footage and just import it right here. And create a new solid and name this one Particle Effect. And on this Particle Effect layer, Go to trapcode particular. If you don't have this effect, you can go to trapcode.com and download the trial, which will work fine. Um, before we can continue, we have to pre-compose the midship triple layer or your, your video footage. And to do that, go to layer pre-compose and name one particle and leave all attributes in final. That's fine. Click OK. And there it is. And now we can continue. So go to your emitter settings and put your emitter type at layer. And what it does is I just told After Effects to generate the, the particles from our video footage from our pre-composed layer. But we, we still have to define that layer by clicking the layer particle 2. And After Effects now tells us to make the layer 3D. So I'm going to do that. Click this box to make it 3D. And now select it again. Okay. So the particular effect um, just created this layer emitter light. Um, it's locked, so we can't change it and just leave it as it is. That's fine. And now we have to change. We have to set some keyframes. And I want the effect to start at two seconds, somewhere like there. And I'm gonna set a keyframe for velocity, particles a second, and life a second. Well, actually, I'm not going for life a second. So let's run through those I want the particles a second to be 0 at this time and I want the velocity to be 0 at this time and I want the life a second to be 0 0.3 okay and I want the particle type to be glow square because it looks cool and now I'm just gonna press U to bring up the change properties and at like three seconds I want the particles to be 20,000 and the velocity 500 and when you see it, it like renders um, you'll see that the particles um, just emit from the layer and it's all looking good so how can we get add some flow to it so first we have to fade them out so I'm gonna set another of those so I'm gonna set this to zero and this should be fine um, another thing we got to do is um, another thing with look pretty uh, yeah what looks cool is just all double click and go into your particle uh, composition and just control C this one and bring it in by pressing control V and put it right here and on this layer I'm going to effect um, transition linear wipe and when I bring this down I can see where I want to start my wipe um, I want this to start right here so I'm gonna set the wipe angle to minus 90 and this will basically it's like basically a transition and set the 0% right here so I'm gonna set a keyframe and a bit further in time Maybe right here. I want the I want it to be like 100, but I think yeah 100, and then set a feather to 560 to be fine. Okay, and now just all double click and go into your particle composition again, and on this footage, apply the effect color correction U and saturation, and why do I want to do this? As at the end I want the particles to be um, black and white so we have to set the saturation to black and white because it's generating from this video for this layer so I'm gonna set a keyframe for it um, somewhat like right here um, set a keyframe for the channel range and then 
bit further in time. Mass acceleration all the way down. Okay. So, as you can see, my particles are all black and white right now. And now they're in color. So it goes in color to black and white. And the screen should fade out. I know why it's not doing that. But, oh yeah, we have to turn this uh, particle composition off because we just don't want to see it. It's, it isn't necessary or anything. So first I'm going to line up this video source a bit better. Okay. And the particles are generated from it. And I think it pretty, yeah, it looks good. So I'm going to do a quick ramp review to see how it looks. Okay. Okay, let's preview that one more time. Well, I think that looks pretty good actually. So, if you enjoyed this tutorial, um, go to chronicstudios.com for more tutorials. This was Paul Bacon.